It has been a violent, tense few months in the Middle East. Thousands being forced to flee their homes and three unlikely refugees turned up here in Nashville over the weekend. Our Chris Conti with the story, all new at 6.30. Come on, Ria. Come on, baby. Good boy. Good boy, come on. If this dog could speak. Hi. Come on. He would tell a story worthy of a book. You can see it on his face. See it in his eyes. He's tired. You can still see the sadness in his eyes, you know, and it's an adjustment. You would be too if you had just spent 18 hours in a crate on a cargo plane shipped across the world not knowing your destination. He doesn't understand English, um, so that's why a lot of it is hugs and kisses and verbal and teaching them being very patient. Cindy Warren is Rio's foster mom. And you act like you haven't been fed. But you have, hadn't you? Right? Huh? Each dog comes with their passport. This golden retriever is a refugee from Turkey. And then they go through customs when they arrive in Atlanta. Leslie Morrison is president of Adopt a Golden Nashville. On Sunday, with the help of donations and volunteers, they brought three dogs to the U.S. from the unstable country. All the shelter can do is spay and neuter to prevent litters happening on the street and vaccinate, and then they have to release them into the streets and into the forest to for themselves. The problem is so bad there are thousands of golden retrievers wandering the streets and woods of Turkey. The people in Turkey who often don't have enough food for themselves are sharing their food with homeless dogs on the street. Oh, look! Good job! Rio may not be able to speak, but he still has a story worthy of telling. A beautiful heart and soul that has a great life ahead of him. Chris Conti. News Channel 5. Rio and the other two golden retrievers brought in from Turkey aren't available for adoption just yet. And interesting to note, a lot of the transport actually had to be done in secret because of backlash from the Turkish people.